Hi everyone, it's Trevor here. I'm going to go over how to create a publicly accessible file share on Windows 10. So what we need to do first is create a folder. I'm going to create one in my C directory. New folder, I'm going to call it public underscore share. Now I'm going to right click and get its properties. I'm going to go sharing, then select share. I'm going to add the group everyone and the user guest. And I'm going to give them both read and write permission. Now you can see that the guest is not enabled. Uh, it is for if we choose to enable it at some other point. Now I'm going to hit share. And I'm going to turn on, yes, turn on network discovery and file sharing for all public networks. And you can see the public share and the network path. And you can hit the show me all network shares on this computer to see the full path and what is available on the computer. And then I'm going to hit done. Then I'm going to go back to my properties and I'm going to go to network and sharing center and disable the password protection. I want to go to all networks, hit the arrow, and then scroll down to password protected sharing and turn it off. And I want to save the changes. Okay, now I have my file system. We're waiting for the network to show the system, but to make this a little bit faster, I'm going to just bring up the name of the computer. Because we know the network path, I'm going to just copy the name of the computer. I'm going to go slash slash and put the computer name and we can see the public share. We see it's empty. I can create a new folder. So I can read and write to the folder. And I'm going to put a picture into the folder to see if we can view it. So let's just get a Windows 10 picture. Go to Bing Images, there's one. All right, let's save the image. I'm going to save it directly to the share. There's the share and let's save it. All right, now we'll go back to the file explorer and we can see there's our Windows 10 image and we're able to open it. And that is setting up a file share on Windows 10. And as you can see, we've also been able to remove the files.